What's up, guys? Desert B here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Um, we're pretty much where we left. Oh, it's Beetle. Oh my gosh, did you see that? <gasps> I can jump. Um, I thought this was Cruise. Is it not? Maybe when you have your sail out, it's... Now it's Cruise. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still um, not really understanding this whole sailing venture yet but uh if i can catch up to beetle then we can um say cruise move do something i don't know i was i wanted to see if i could get off and oh there's a ladder i could we can get off there but i kind of want to say hi to beetle let me jump off okay um we don't want to speak How do you... There we go. I just want to see if he says anything. Like, oh, look, he's got some evil pears. Thank you. As always, I appreciate your business. If you have anything you want to sell, show it to me. I'll buy it off of you. Or would you prefer to buy something? Um, Just use that to browse. So it's a Hayoi pear. I still don't know what those are. That's just bait. Um, yeah, he doesn't say what the pears do. How do I, um, tell him I want to sell? We have one point. Well, buy my stuff. Maybe I just need to go to items? Nope, it doesn't let me do anything on the gamepad. Huh. Bye! If you don't have anything you want to sell, maybe he's, like... Okay, I think I think basically I don't have anything that I could sell, so he's not giving me the option. That would be my guess. But let's get back on um, the little boat. Set sail. Oh wow, that is fast. Now let's just see if we can climb up this ladder here. Uh, please move. There we go. I'm not sure if this is a mini game, maybe. With the barrels in the water. Or are these enemies? Yeah, these are enemies. So maybe it's just the lookout post. <laughs> okay, nice. Oh, nice, a chest. Looks like a little chest. Oh, and one of these, another butterfly. I thought maybe Beetle would buy those, but I guess not. I'm sure we'll figure out what they are eventually. Oh, uh, um, hmm, items. I don't have anything to, what's this? I don't have anything to put that in. The Miiverse service has ended, rip. Meverse. But I can't use this as a bottle. Huh. That's a bummer. And it was a rupee. Yep. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have this thing in my inventory forever? And I can't do anything with it? Okay, well, I'm still not really any closer to understanding why the compass is as confusing as it is, but basically, this, well, not that, um, erect. This is me facing north. So when the little thing on the compass is, the red is in the top, it is north. But then here's the thing. Now I'm facing east, but the red is facing west. So it's like, it, this has got to be some nautical compass that just actually doesn't work like a regular compass. Well, that's not true. I guess if I rotate it in my head, instead of thinking that the pointer's gonna just go in the direction that I'm going, I guess that makes a little bit more sense. Thinking about just rotating it mentally, but I don't like that. So this, is this a cutscene? There on the horizon. That is our destination. Dragon Roost Island. I thought we were going back to the Forsaken Fortress. Ah, 
The music. Hello. Classic. High atop this island's peak lives the spirit of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Valu. Are we headed into like our first dungeon-ish kind of thing? You must go see this dragon and request from him a jewel called Den's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. I almost forgot, wait a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It's a baton of sorts that was used long ago when the people played a music in prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. Okay, um, it's a baton. First, conduct in 3-4 time. Do not touch the L, only the R. Try to match my rhythm. Hmm. Am I doing it? What is this? What's the solid mean? Conduct with R. Hold on, I need to see what. So up. Okay. I'm obviously not doing this right. Okay, start over. What's the matter, Link? You do not have to time it exactly. Just be sure to be holding R in the proper direction when the metronome hits the center. You don't need to touch the L, just the R. When the metronome, where's the metronome? Okay, I see the metronome. I see, I see. Okay. It's not picking up. All right, here we go. Oh, so you don't have to, okay, I, okay, I see. That was three, four, now let's do four, four time. All right, you ready? Wait, what are we doing? I, I am confused. We're doing it twice or what? I think I missed. Ah! <laughs> it's just hard, okay? Okay, but do you see my confusion? The fact that there's... Uh, there's three triangles up on top. Oh, I think I just understood. Never mind, never mind. Okay, go. Oh my gosh, that's it, Link. That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. You can also conduct with, with it in 6-4 time by tilting... Oh my gosh, I get it. You receive the legendary Wind Waker by using this magical conductor's baton. You can borrow the power of the gods. Don't tilt L to conduct in 3-4. See, that's what I wasn't getting. Okay, got it. Ooh, yeah, let's get back to the good music. Bomb flowers. Do not attack the explosive fruit. <laughs> Okay, so beetles come in up here close to shore. And... Curious. What that is. But I probably can't reach it yet. Oh, here, a bombable wall. Up. Oh, um, baton. How do I use the thing again? Here it is. It just says up. Hmm. What do you think it means? Nope. Never mind. I have no idea what that means. Could be 
wind or something. Maybe it looks like the the same arrow that it was using to tell me the wind direction. I seriously am loving this music. Let's get that one too. Could be some of the best music in the game. Right here. What's this say? Male center. Well, that bridge is broken. Oh, is this another? Yikes, that was a bit close. Can we just drop? No, it's gotta be a throw. Hm. And actually, what's over here? Okay, wind shrine, male center? Wind shrine? A little crab! I need a bomb. I don't think the bomb is going to make it over there before it goes off. Let's just give it a try. I don't think so, though. Ah, there it goes. Yeah. Shoot. Um, maybe we'll... Maybe from above or something. Let me go in here, though. There appears to be markings that indicate specific directions. Okay, up, left, right. And it's three, four time. So just, uh... You learned the wind is Requiem. What does that do? Mm. Yep, that's a mighty nice breeze. Where did you, this guy come from? The name's Zephos. I'm the god of winds. So you're new to, you're the new wind waker, are you? Great, great. For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up, well, it gives you control over the direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing or a very bad thing. You want an example of it being a bad thing? Then you should see my brother. It saddens me to say that my brother Cyclos is miffed about his monument here being broken and now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. So if you encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will you? And that is my request for you. Okay, that sounds actually pretty useful because I, I was running into some scenarios. Beetle! Um, in the boat just a minute ago where the wind was just not really in my favor at all. Okay, back on track. Now that we've blown up all these rocks, let's go back up here and see what is up this path. And then I guess we're on to Dragon Roost Island. The bridge is out. I need a bomb, but we can sidle across. And throw it. Is that close enough? Ah! Darn. Go, 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 go! Ah! Okay, we got it. Let's sidle here. <laughs> He looks so suspicious when he does that. Like, not that he's suspicious, but suspicious of what's on the... around the corner, I guess. Um, okay. <gasps> oh, come on. What? Let's try that again. I didn't even get the rock. What if I, what if I did this? Can Link throw this far? Ah, nope. Back up, Link! Oh wait, I, no, we need to just go across first and then try that again. The conductor thingy up there in in the top left of the screen, it looks like the Dusk Claymore, honestly, from Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild. The Sword of Six Sages, AKA. 
So that, I guess that's our instrument this game. Kind of interesting, interesting choice there. I'm gonna wait until this thing's close to blowing up. Perfection. Why is there a mailbox here? Good morning. Welcome to the Island Postal Service. What do you have for delivery? I don't think I have anything. Unless we can give them the bottle, but I doubt it. Okay. Is he the mailman? We met earlier. Link? Link, is it you? It is. I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she... Uh... Not great news there. Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Link. Would you like me to... Would you like to meet a chieftain? I've told my people here about you and all of us. Rito are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of your airy. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Link. I'll be waiting. So this is the entrance to their town? You have to cross a broken bridge? I thought that, hold on, let me just see really quick. I'm not gonna go down. I guess it is the entrance. I, I thought that there was another path, but I guess not. I can definitely see how Retail Village and Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom was influenced uh, based on this little area here. Well, have you discovered the cause of the of the Great Valu's anger? Ah, so you're Link, are you? Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our living on the airways. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit, Valu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the great dragon. It's this scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Interesting. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown uh, violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valu on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As Chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Link with regards to your son, Prince Komali? As you can see, Link is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. I just can't get over their noses. I definitely like the more like bird design in Breath of the Wild. Let me be direct. My son Kamali is one of the age is of the age to earn his wings, yet he's weak in some ways, and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? Sure. I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible so that we may better help you with yours. I have something I wish to give my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I'm counting on you. Medley has the thing. Here, Link, take this with you. Who knows, it might come in handy. A delivery bag. Finally crafted, crafted bags like this are used by Rito Postman. With so many pockets, it can hold many items. Use it on one of your items. Okay. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the Great Valu to us. In the meantime, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. Yeah, these guys are like, it's almost like they're humans wearing bird masks, kind of, with wing sleeves. And is this TNT? Oh no, this is male. 
Um, yeah, the design of the Rito in Breath of the Wild looked way better. Is this where it came from? Not sure. I don't think so. It doesn't look familiar. Uh, oh, this is possibly the prince. That looks like a medallion. Oh, look at the little, um, like, duckies. Cute. Uh, kind of a cool room here. Uh, who are you supposed to be? Yeah, he doesn't have anything on his arms. What do you want from me? I don't want to talk to anyone right now. He's got something interesting. I feel like I'm gonna need that. It kind of looks like, um... I don't know. Some important game mechanic. So, his room... I think... That's the entrance. That's Kamali's room. Um... That looks like another exit. So let's go... This way. They did say Medley was in the upper rooms. It's funny that the music inside here just changes to, like, straight-up house music. You're the fledgling the chieftain mentioned, aren't you? I feel as though I should tell you, despite what he may seem like right now, young Master Kamali is quite a pleasant child. His father, the chieftain, is quite busy, but Kamali never once complained, though I'm sure he's been lonely at times. He's the chieftain's son through and through. However, his grandmother passed recently, and Kamali seems lost. His confidence is gone. His grandmother was always with him, you see, a great, great woman. The sparkling ball that the young master keeps with him was actually a gift from the great Valu to Kamali's grandmother. Oh, that explains that. Is this Medley? <laughs> wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. You're Link, aren't you? Oh, me? I'm an attendant to the great Me to the great sky spirit Valu. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. What am I thinking? Here, take this for the chieftain. Link, he wants you to give this directly to Prince Kamali. What is it? It's a letter. Ugh, okay. Since you just received a fine delivery bag, why don't you use it to carry this letter down to Kamali? When you want to take it out, choose the delivery bag on your item screen and then set the letter. Okay. The room way in the back on the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple steps to get there. When you meet Prince Kamali, please don't get offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, um, listen, Link, I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Roost Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. Is that what this is? Let's see. Ooh, a little bit gusty in here. I can't look up. That looks like a path. Doesn't say offhand. What does this guy say? I guess it's to be expected in this heat, but just take a look down there. Dragon Roos Pond is completely dried up. It sounds like the mountain is erupting too. I thought that it was a little bit strange that, I mean, I don't know for sure that this is the first time that Rito have appeared in a Zelda game, but I thought it was kind of funny that they didn't really introduce them at all. They were just like, he's got a tiny nose. Well, now I've not seen your face before. Nope, I don't believe so. Hmm? You wouldn't be here in response to our posting for some part-time help, would you? Uh, a job. Okay. That's good, but first, to see if I can use you or not, I need you to give you a little test, just a small one. Match the seal on the envelope with the same icon on the shelf and throw the letter into the shelf. Really easy, simple. Okay, is that clear? Yeah. Before time runs out, you have to sort at least ten letters. Give it your best shot. <laughs> I'm a mailman. Shoot. Um, got a little trigger happy there. How many have I done? Seven? Ah, no! Does it start over? I sure hope not. My time is running out. Shoot! That's ten. We did it, we did it. Plus one. Eleven letters, great, good, terrific, you pass. Okay, you get one rupee for every two letters, so that comes to a grand total of five rupees. Am I right? Come back anytime. I mean it, anytime. The more letters you sort, the more you'll earn. Not a bad deal for both of us. Wow. Didn't know I was gonna come here and get a job. 
as the mailman. What is this room for? Do these? I don't. I doubt that these break, but this might. It's like their storage room, maybe. Oh, it does not. It does. Okay, well, let's go. That's Medley's room. I don't know what that is yet. So let's go down and um, meet with the prince again, which he was here. And maybe he'll hand over whatever he's got in his hands. Ah, though unlikely, because that was a gift to his grandma. It just looks like something important that I'm gonna need. Okay, so they said go to your items. Um, oh, looks like it says jelly. A letter from my father? Why didn't he come and tell him himself? Sure, telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to go get a scale from Valu. Why, you're in this letter too, you know? Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What, are you trying to say that you can calm Valu down? That's a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what, if you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost and get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. Huh. Oh, this? It's strange. Holding this calms me down. I forget all the bad things. It's so pretty, isn't it? It's called Din's Pearl. I need that. My grandma gave it to me. My grandma used to be Valu's attendant. She was the only person on the island who understood Valu's language. My grandma, if she were here, I know she could calm Valu down. I just know it. But my father and the rest, no matter how hard they try, they'll fail. I know it. No one else can calm Valu down. It's impossible. <laughs> What? What is it, huh? Listen, you can steal all you want, but I'm not giving this to you. This is my treasure, you understand? I'm not going to just hand it over to some do-nothing guy, am I? Okay, rude, first of all. But, I mean, I figured that was coming. Also, I just, I've, I like to, I guess I have to find, um, similarities between the Zelda games kind of interesting. That's cool. Whatever this is. But, um, I just was finding it kind of funny that in Breath of the Wild... Well, let me think. In Breath of the Wild... So I guess Tulin's not super important in Breath of the Wild, from what I remember. It's... It's... Wow, these are dead. It's, um, in Tears of the Kingdom when he is important. I just, you know, uh... He's not a prince in Tears of the Kingdom, but he is the chief's son, which is what that guy is. So, kind of funny that there's two instances where you're having to do something with the chi- Oh, is that Medley? A big bomb, or a big bombable thing is there. Hey, you actually came! I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great Valu, he became so angry and, in his rage, he shook the mountain and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. But where's my mind? Tell me, how is Prince Kamali? Uh, rude. That doesn't sound right. Not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Kamali's taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the great Valu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassed in her dealings with the great Valu. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I'd possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So, will you help me? Yes. Okay, pick me up. Then face the ledge and toss me. The atmospheric currents are really messed up, so pay close attention to the direction of the wind. All right, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can. It's... <laughs> 
It's Princess Ruto all over again. Okay, we've got to wait for the wind. And now it's blowing towards, so not yet, not yet. Sideways. We need it to go forward. To the left. Ah, uh, there it goes. Ooh, yikes, that didn't work. <laughs> I'm fine. That didn't really hurt. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Once more. Once more. With the wind. What? But this doesn't seem like it's going to work. You think I should be over here? Maybe. Okay, we've got to wait. <laughs> oh, wait. We missed our chance. Did we? No, we got it. Nice. Oh, thank you. Uh, I think now I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Valu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may just an apprentice... Wait, I may just be an apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the Great Valu's language. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but look, if anything happens to me... Please look after Prince Kamali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. Ah, good, a bottle. Bottles are great for carrying water and holding other things. Please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? Well, good luck to both of us. What's with the little wind current here? Um, so let's go to items. Uh, put this here. Now, I was curious. You filled your bottle with water. Try pouring it on something that looks dry and withered. Exactly, exactly. Was my thought was, what if we pour it on those bomb flowers up here? They look a little wilted. Whoa. Have some water. Perfect. Now, let's throw this over. Hopefully this gives me a way to cross, because I'm sure what's going to happen is she's going to go, she's going to get kidnapped or stuck or hurt or something's going to happen, and then obviously we're going to have to go and help. So that, wow. We can reach the ladder. I was just thinking, though, I think that this is the entrance to the dungeon. So let me just explore those other paths before we head toward the dungeon. What does this guy have to say? Do you know Medley? Just now, some fella told me that he saw some unfamiliar creatures near Dragon Roost Cavern. He said that they grabbed a girl that looked like Medley, which is odd because I know Medley can't fly well enough to get to the Dragon Roost Cavern entrance by herself, so I figured that it must be a mix-up of some sort. It is a bit disconcerting, though. Yeah, about that. As you're from Off Island, allow me to tell you about the Dragon Roost. Even in the best of times, it's dangerous. It's a dangerous place with all those bomb flowers growing everywhere. And now it's even more perilous. It's so bad that the bomb flowers themselves have all dried up. The great and wonderful Valu has created quite a mess. What about you? If you want to get to Dragon Roost Cavern, I've got some bad news. The bridge is out, so there's no way to even get inside. I'm sure you'll understand once you've seen it for yourself. As for swimming across, well, you need water for that, and the pond's all dried up. No need to panic, though. I'm sure the chieftain will think of something. I've been here for five minutes, and I solved the problem. The chief hasn't figured it out yet. So... Yeah, we, f we went in both of those... And I don't remember... Is this just, like, a second floor of the area that we were just in? Yes. Okay. Does he say anything? The pond came from this bubbling spring. It was such a beautiful little pond. Now it's so arid that even the bomb flowers have completely dried up. It's just so hot. I'm sure the chieftain and those guys are having a tough time checking things out. But it's tough for us guards, too. He didn't see, apparently... That I revived the place. And what was this way? Oh, yeah. The tune. Is this a diving board? <laughs> Walk the plank or something? Um. So I was down there. I don't think... 
I don't think I was actually out that door, though. I'll take those. Oh, is this, um... Oh, I don't think that's the mailman, and also I've forgotten his name. Quill, actually. Every year, the retail sponsor a Birdman contest on that island off to the east. I wonder if we'll have one this year, what with the current situation on the island. No time to waste. Everyone's so busy with the Great Valu that we're running short on delivery personnel. It's a madhouse. Oh, well, back to work. Uh, that's so funny, because in Breath of the Wild, isn't there a challenge, a Birdman... I don't know if- I know that they use those words, though. Birdman... something or other. Okay. Can't get over there. We used to have such nice breezes blowing through here. Now the air is crazy. I'm positive the strange winds are a result of the wind god's anger. See, there's an important shrine below where that got broken, and now we're paying the price. What cursed luck. I thought that we talked to the wind god and he was just fine. It was his brother. That was freaking out. Okay, and then we did go this way. So I think we have pretty thoroughly um, checked the area. There was just that one other path. Let me see, I think we, this way. Oh, actually, this is, yeah, this is what we were just seeing from above. So it kind of like wrapped around, I see. Never mind. I just want to be sure that I'm not missing anything important before we head in to the first dungeon of the game. Here we go. And let's see, we likely, we probably won't have time to do the dungeon today, but at least get up to the entrance. I was trying to think, where was that fairy that we missed? Ah, but that was way back on that thing at the very, very beginning. I was tempted slightly to go pick that up, put it in my bottle. Oh, um, what is this? <laughs> well, Link doesn't like it, whatever it is. I think it's just a wind gust. Oh, I see, I see. Aim. Gosh, this is... I, there's like puzzles just like this in Skyward Sword. I wonder if I can reach it from here. My personal timeline is just all messed up because I played... I, I didn't ever play this game. I didn't have a GameCube. I don't know if it came out on the GameCube or the Wii first. But for some reason, I missed this one. Ah! But I I did play Twilight Princess, so maybe there's just like a, a lapse in when I was into games and stuff as a kid. There we go. Dragon Roost Cavern. Two dragons, now that's pretty cool. And also the music is, <laughs> it's like a, a new version kind of, of um, the cavern music in Ocarina of Time. That's fun. No fairies. Double dragon door though, that's familiar, right? I think this is actually the beginning of the temple. Let's see if we get any other kind of... I mean, that's a key. I think a door that needs a key up there. Hold on, what was that A for? I should have hit it. Hmm. Because I know Tetra's supposed to be able to talk to me still, I think, from... I forgot what this thing is called in my pocket. Let me see if it's on the menu. Items, map, bottles. No, it's actually not anywhere in my items. But I'm pretty sure I made it at least this far the first time I played this game a long time ago. So this, I'm, I'm pretty positive that this is the beginning of the temple. Let's see. 
I wanted to see if I can find a key and then confirm. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. They didn't call it like anything. I kind of feel like everything in the game is, um, there's not like a big to do about a lot of things, you know, like they didn't make a big deal about, um, introducing a new species to the series. I don't know why I can't break this. Um, I don't know, like, this doesn't even feel- if I didn't know any better, I would barely even know that I was in a dungeon. Fire? Oh, uh, here we go. Let's grab the stick. And then light the torches, I think. And the music is just, like, regular cavern music, so it's- I guess it's just not super clear that it is the actual dungeon, but I'm like 95% sure that it is. How do you throw this thing? A small key. You can only use it in this dungeon. Let's just go through the first door and let's just see. Yeah, there's just no... Here we go, here's something. Ooh okay, so it's our fire temple, I think? Clearly. Let me check the map. Dragon Roost Cavern. Just a cavern. Oops, I guess a lot like um, Dodongo's Cavern, where it was just called a cavern even though it kind of is a temple. Anyways, okay, let's save the rest of this temple for the next episode, because... Um, I mean, we're 45 minutes in or thereabouts. I don't think that we have time to do a whole temple that I'm not familiar with in 15 minutes. So a little shorter episode today, but that kind of makes up for the fact that the last two were a bit on the long side. So guys, thanks so much for watching and uh, be sure to come back next time for the, uh, what was it called again? Dragon Roost Cavern. Goodbye. I'm Brittany with Desert Bee Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to help my channel grow, all you gotta do is hit the like and subscribe buttons below. If you'd like to see your name at the end of every video, please consider joining channel memberships right here on YouTube. Can't wait to see you there.